This was a stunning wake up call for a group of children who have already been through so much. These flames are shooting through the roof of a Gastonia youth home, a fire that was intentionally set. Channel 9's Ken Lemon is live for us outside the group home tonight. Thankfully, those children are safe right now. Ken? Yeah, Erica, there were four children and one social worker inside of this home uh, when somebody set fire right back here to this corner. They were all evacuated and eventually moved over to a second home just across the parking lot here. However, much of the food for people in both buildings was destroyed in the fire. The flames were so bright they almost seemed to burn the night sky. My heart aches for the kids that were devastated by the, the experience. Seeing something like this would be traumatizing for anyone in almost any home. But the Whip Friends group home is not just any home. It is the first safe place that some of the children referred here have ever had. Here for all various reasons, uh, neglect, abuse, um, substance abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse. They take in children ages 10 to 21. Many were homeless and brought here to stay safe until social workers can find them a new home. Sunday morning, their safety was threatened. And that's another layer on the trauma that they've already experienced. Extra counselors have been called in to help the survivors. Police have made an arrest and are moving ahead with their case, but they're not sharing many details because they say the person responsible is a minor. Their actions reportedly have left other minors in dire straits again. Some will have to be moved quickly to a new home. There are a few other group homes for these children. The closest is in Charlotte. People are already stepping up to replace items lost in the fire. I could not imagine not helping them. The kids are close to our hearts. The building is, ins is insured, and the administrators say they're going to do everything they can to help those who are still here right now. That includes delaying the fire drill they have every month here. They worry that if that fire drill is activated, the sound of that alarm could again trigger that sense of loss for some of those survivors, Erica. All right. Hopefully the community will continue to wrap their arms around those children and take good care of them. Thank you, Ken.